Imagine being in prison five years of your life for something that you never did. Imagine that five years of your life turning into not 10, not 15, but 27 years. Almost three decades, 30 years of your life spent in prison for crimes you never committed. This is what happened in Nelson Mandela, and here's what he did to unite his people and what kept him going during the 27 years he spent in prison. 27 years she spent there rotting away in this little cell, told you're gonna die here. And to be able to keep hope through that, like when we're struggling in life and we're wondering, how am I gonna make it through this? Like what's people always ask me, like Mark, what should my why be? Sometimes you don't have to overcomplicate it. For Nelson Mandela, it came down to this poem called Invictus. It got him through it and not only did it get him through those 27 years, that's like almost 30 years of your life. And then to get out and be like, I'm not gonna assassinate all these people. He actually hired some of them onto his like campaign because he knew it was like two different political parties. So he knew if he did that, even though they were in the wrong, that it would just cause like more and more of the same civil wars and the division. So he had the like the power of love to be able to, it, which takes more strength and forgiveness to be like, I'm gonna unite the people. People were seeing that on TV. And then when people started seeing that image and then he's speaking unity, like the best example of leadership is He's practicing what he's preaching. And then that started happening like in the real life and actually uniting the country. It's crazy. And it's like when you look at those things and we're like, dude, I can't get through this. And then I'm like, can you get through 27 years of prison and still come out like with love? That's insane. But when he was in those really dark times wanting to give up in that cell, losing hope, like wondering, do I even want to live anymore? It was this poem Invictus that kept him going. Out of the night that covers me, black is the pitch from pole to pole. I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Underneath the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloodied yet unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, looms the horrors of the shade. And yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Can't believe I remember that. <laughs> he decided this is what leaders do. They're able to drop their ego and look at what's my purpose, what's my mission, and how can I truly accomplish this no matter how hard it gets. He was able to step back and not only forgive those white people that came into his own freaking country and threw him in prison for 27 years for stuff he never did. He was able to bring them together and even his bodyguards, he intentionally kept some of the white ones on with the black Africans and white South Africans to teach them and show people watching on the media that I'm not just preaching unity, I'm doing it here with my own team. The country started seeing this and the ripple effect of it started uniting the people and this great leadership changed the whole trajectory of South Africa and fled it from being in a civil war to at that time becoming what was known, united as the Rainbow Nation. Because he was able to have this power of love and forgiveness after 27 years of his life being rotted away. It's insane. Like when it, when it comes to leaders, I look at people like Nelson Mandela, not only as one of my heroes, but we hear this like generic term serving leadership thrown around because it's a real thing. And Nelson Mandela is someone that walked the talk and his actions spoke just as loud as his words. After being falsely in prison 27 years, Nelson Mandela came out with a bigger purpose and a mission to serve his country and beyond that, unite his country that was so divided between the white South Africans and the black South Africans that there had been civil war for 